Okay guys, let's do a quick video on how to use R Commander to help us out with our continuous uniform distribution. Okay, so here we go. We've got Jerry has noticed that the time a judge of a lower court spends on a case is uniformly distributed at a maximum of 45 minutes and a minimum of 4 hours. Alright, so let's go ahead and define our uniform distribution. Remember, uniform is just defined by two pieces of information. We have the minimum, which is equal to 45 divided by 60. I want to get it in times of hours. That's our minimum. And our maximum is 4. Okay, great. So we've got our minimum and maximum. First things first. How many hours is she expected to spend on a random case? And what is the standard deviation? Okay, so we need to go back to our equations. So the expected value for a uniform distribution is going to be equal to, here we go, I'll say equals B plus A divided by 2. This is, B is just the max and A is the minimum and no big deal. So we can say equals B plus A divided by 2. And so we expect her to spend like 2.375 hours on any given case. So let's do the variance next. The variance of our continuous random variable is going to be equal to, let's do this again. So this time it's going to be b minus a. We're going to square it. And then we're going to divide that whole thing by 12. All right, so let's give it a shot. Here we go. Equals. Once again, here we go, b minus a, and we're going to square it, divide it by 12. That gives us our variance, and we get this variance, and if we wanted the standard deviation, standard deviation, remember it's always just the square root of the variance, equals square root of our variance, and there we go. So now we've got our variance, and we've got our standard deviation, and we've got our expected value. Okay, so let's uh, keep on going. Problem, our part number one is done. Okay, now I'd ask you, what is the probability that she spends more than three hours? Okay, so there's a couple ways that we could do this. If we did it in Excel, we can always do the probability that we can do three is less than, give me a second, less than x, or just or a continuous random variable, which is less than 4. So 3 is our minimum, and 4 is our maximum. And we can do this by a simple multiplication. So we can say equals, we can do the range, which is going to be, yeah, we can just type in range of interest, range multiplied by, okay, now we need to know our, um, Oh, it's actually our, our P, our PDF height. Let's actually type that up there because it's super handy. So if we look at our graph and we'll see it in just a second. Here we go. This is our PDF, our probability distribution function. And it's going to equal, let me show you what it is. It's one divided by B minus A. Okay, so here we go, equals 1 divided by 4 minus our 0.75. Let me get an actual divided by symbol. There we go. And it's this kind of nasty thing. It's okay. But for here, we're just going to do range, which is going to be kind of like our base, and our height is going to be that PDF. So we can do times 1 divided by b minus a. Okay, and if we wanted to do that, let's go ahead and put it right here. So we'll say equals, our range of interest is 4 minus 3, or 4 is our maximum, and 3 is we want to succeed the probability that she spends more than 3 hours. So we got that range multiplied by our PDF height. We say equals, and we see that we've got like a 31% chance of having our case or that she spends more than three hours on a given case so let's 
bring those down a little bit. Okay, I want to show you how we can get this same value in our commander. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to distributions. We're going to go to continuous distributions and then go to uniform. Uh, so this is where we're going to be basically be doing all of these and we want uniform probabilities. So first thing that we want to do is we've got to put in our minimum, which was 0.75, and our maximum 0.4. And then we're going to select lower tail. So lower tail means that it's going to give us the cumulative distribution um, function. And it's going to give us, remember, the area under the curve to the left. I'll show you what that means in the graph in just a second. But we're going to go to the area under the curve to the left. And our critical point is 3. Now, if we see, though, it says, what's the probability that you spend more than three hours? We don't care about the area to the left. We actually care about the area to the right. So when we do this, we can either, well, let's, let's show you how to do it with the CDF first. So we'll click OK, and we'll come over here, and we see that, OK, we get this specific probability, but that was the area to the left. That was the probability of being less than three hours. So if we want more than three hours, we can do one minus, this probability and I'll hit enter and it gives us this 0 0.307 we're going to copy that we're going to paste it right in here and we're going to round to four decimals and check it out it's the same value that we got up above our commander is a lot easier now there's even an easier way to do this let's go to distributions again go back to your uniform we want to go to uniform probabilities and look so the lower tail says it's the area to the left or the probability of being less than three we say upper that's the probability of being more than three click OK and we get the same value yet again so the probability that she's going to spend more than three hours on a given um, oh on a given case is about 30 percent okay so number three let's go down to number three all right, so this number three is uh, is actually uh, a little involved. Uh, so we can, uh, we're going to actually hit pause and we're going to break this problem into a couple of parts because it's going to take me a little bit. So this is how we get through our first two parts of this uniform distribution. One more thing before we go, though. Let's do a graph. We're going to do distributions, uniform, plot the uniform. We're going to go from 0.75 to 0.4. We want to plot the density function. That's what we want, the um, PDF probability density function. We want this x value. And I'm going to shade from 0.75 to 0.4. You can choose whatever color you want. If you click on it, you can play around with your colors and click OK. Um, sometimes you get a color wheel, and sometimes you just get a square. Oh, no. Looks like I, I got kicked out. We'll start another section real quick. Give me just a second. Okay, here we go. So we'll go to distributions, go back to that uniform, plot the uniform, 0.75 to 4, and once again, 0.75 to 4. We're just going to color this in, and we'll select, I don't know, that looks like a good color. And I'll click OK and click OK. And now we get our uniform dish. It's super awesome. It's a rectangle. But that's uniformly distributed um, in a continuous random variable. And we can see just looking at it, if we kind of just make an imaginary line at three, and we look at this whole box and we say, okay, what's the probability or what's the uh, percent of the area to the right of this three? And we can say, just from looking at it, I'd say, you know, roughly, I don't know. 25 or 30 percent you come over here and when we actually got it it was that 0 0.3077 which is really good um, one thing that we do need to do is we need to adjust our titles and our um, labels so you can come in here and you can change x label we'll change this to hours and the main one we're just going to delete that out remember you do want the print or the quotation marks so don't delete those out but we can do this is um, time judge spends on case then I'm going to highlight this include the parentheses and bracket go all the way up to local 
and I'm going to click submit again and there we go. Okay, we'll continue the rest of this one in another video.